Good day and welcome back to the Hopkins Demonstration Forest. This is part 10 of what is a forest. And today I wanted to kick off the topic that we're going to be covering over the next few videos, and that is forest measurements. So in that video 9, I talked about a management decision, and I, and I showed a graph of uh, trees per acre and their size. So we're going to be wanting to capture some information out here in our forest so we can start getting a closer look at it. Sometimes we'll be looking at the plants, sometimes uh, maybe some of those decomposers, maybe looking for evidence of wildlife or getting in the water. There's a variety of things we measure out here in the forest. But the first thing we have to kind of focus on, it's not necessarily the technique and the tools we're going to use to capture information, but it's the area that we're going to look at. And so we're focusing on that today, and we call that a representative sample. So here at Hopkins, we have 140 acres. I've said that uh, in a few videos. And then I think the first one or second, I, I mentioned there's 30 million acres of forest in Oregon. There's no way we could sample all that, not in Oregon, not, not out here at Hopkins, uh, with, with any reasonable amount of time. So what we need to do is kind of focus in and come up with a way that we can go around and take small samples or pieces of the forest so we can build the puzzle of what it looks like. So in order to do that, the first thing that's really handy to have, um, and we'll talk about uh, map reading in a, a future video at some point, but uh, there's lots of different maps out there. I don't want to get into that today. Uh, they contain some real useful information, but what they really, what I want to get at is today is they really, they show us the area uh, that we're going to be trying to look at. So I can look at a map and say, okay, there's often a scale. So I can measure that area. An area when we talk forestry and land management, um, we use a term called an acre. Now you've probably uh, heard the word acre before. Uh, it's sometimes a little weird because it has some historical reference and it, it, the shape and the size, well, it's, it can be any shape, but the size, um, it, it's always kind of been referred to and I like to say it's the size of a soccer field or a football field to get that visual reference. But it has a very exact measurement, and that exact measurement is 10 square chains. And then you're probably saying, well, what's a chain? Uh, there's some length measurements, chains, lengths, rods, but a chain is 66 feet. Uh, it goes back to some surveying and, and earlier land uh, as we were going across and doing some mapping. Um, but just accept the fact that a chain is 66 feet. There's 10. So one chain by 10 long, 10 square chains in an acre. So if we take 66 times 660 feet, we get 43,560 square feet. And that's going to be important because that's a pretty big area. So if I want to make a graph or a table, it talks about our forest and starts adding some descriptors. Let's just go with trees. Uh, here's a similar graph, graph I showed you in video nine, the number of trees per acre um, based by their size or their diameter, how big around they are. So if I want to make this map, if I have to sample every tree on an acre, um, you know, out here at Hopkins, we have some stands that are 100, some two, some, some close to 400 trees per acre. I'm not going to get out there and measure all those. So I need to go out on that area of land, an acre, and grab a representative sample. And I don't just do it in one spot. I place those systematically, usually, uh, evenly across the area I want to look at. Here on uh, the map that I'm pointing to uh, is a little pink area. Uh, that's our thinning and pruning demonstration area. Um, you know, it encompasses a few acres, but uh, there's about 10 acres out there that uh, I might want to go sample. Uh, I'm not going to go out and sample every single tree on those 10 acres but I might go out and sample a smaller section. So how do we go about and mark that on the ground and what size do we use? So again, we're not gonna be capturing an entire acre. That's a lot of work for one person to do. So what we need to do is take a small portion of it. And we can do that in a couple different ways. We need to think about if we're gonna sample an acre, and you might wanna think about that, uh, an acre, let's say it has 100 trees on it. That sounds like a lot of trees to measure and put a tape measure, wrap it around the tree to get circumference so we can figure out how big across it is that diameter. 
uh, that's a lot of work to do. I have to walk around to every single tree. I also have to identify, make sure I keep track of which ones I measured and which ones I, I haven't. So I guess what sounds more reasonable? A hundred trees per acre? Um, probably sounds a lot better if I said, how about you go out and just capture 10 trees per acre? Um, or 10 trees in a plot, I should say. And then that gets us down to that, that uh, representative sample. We're not gonna be capturing the acre. We're gonna be capturing it on a plot of a portion of that acre. So if I said 10 trees, that's what I wanna get. And I'm thinking there's about 100. Well, if I just go out there and capture a 10th of an acre, a 10th, 10th of 100, I would expect to get you know, around nine, 10, 11 trees and do that across the forest. So capturing this representative sample, it really it saves us time, uh, one. Uh, it allows us to cover more area. Uh, and as we cover map that area and capture that diversity over the area or the forest, um, we can get a clear picture, very much like going out and getting a very detailed uh, sample. So again, going out and doing 100% sampling, capturing everything out there, obviously you'll get a nice clear picture but it's just not practical. And that's one of the basics of uh, when we go out and we have a, a question, a hypothesis, uh, we're going out into the forest or going anywhere, we have to make sure that our question is answerable in a reasonable amount of time. So we often do these representative samples. So there's a couple ways we can put that on the ground. And a lot of people say, well, how am I gonna capture an acre? Well, you said football field. Um, so that's kind of rectangular. You said it's 10 square chains. So uh, 10 square chains, a tenth of an acre. Uh, this is kind of a, obviously not the uh, uh, 66 by uh, 66 feet of a tenth of an acre. So uh, if a tenth of an acre, get this set up right, is a uh, one square chain. And if you can imagine this being a square that I were to magically lay across the, the land, it's 66 feet across and 66 feet uh, uh, down, that would be a tenth of an acre. Uh, so a lot of times people think of squares, but one of the problems with squares is they're very easy to turn into, uh, you know, trapezoids and parallelograms and, and all sorts of weird shapes because there's four corners. So a lot of times we like to do in forestry, and again, use this as a representation of a tenth of an acre, um, we make circles. The nice thing about a circle, I got a little graph here, is a circle that's a tenth of an acre is now, you can see here, 37.2 foot radius. There's tables that tell you how big the circles are if you want to go bigger or smaller. Say a twentieth of an acre, a fiftieth, a hundredth. Uh, there's different radiuses we use. But all I need to do is take a tape measure, a flexible one, um, find where my plot or my area that I want to focus on, the center of that, pull a tape out and walk a circle, holding that tape nice and tight, and it's very easy to create a circle. And inside that circle, what I do is then I can count the number of trees that are inside that area or that circle, which is a tenth of an acre. And so if I count, what do I have here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get that? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. There's eight in that circle. Uh, sometimes when we have two on the line, we keep one and then we don't count the other. Um, there's different sampling techniques on, on how to make sure you don't you know, over count or under. Uh, so a tenth of an acre times eight, that would mean uh, if this were the trees, that would be 80 trees per acre multiplied by 10. So again, this could be a 20th of an acre, a 50th, and that radius just gets smaller. So if you think about what's down here below my feet, um, and we can do this real quick to show you how to capture a sample. Uh, there's lots of uh, native plants. I have sword fern, salal, Oregon grape. Maybe a question is how many Oregon grape plants uh, are in this type of forest uh, where I'm standing per acre? Um, just kind of think about that number for a second. I know it's hard to kind of get a, a reference, but uh, you can see the Oregon grape has this uh, kind of holly-shaped leaf. Uh, it, it, it's all around me here. It's not too dense, but um, 
you know, what sounds like a reasonable number, 100 to 400 trees per acre, how much uh, Oregon grape uh, plants could be there. So this actually I was using as kind of just an example, but this is actually uh, a percentage or portion of an acre. Um, well, obviously, because it is a shape, but this is an exact shape um, that we figured out uh, by using a little math, by taking uh, 43,560 square feet, dividing it by 10,000. So this is a 10,000th, it's hard to say, 10,000th of an acre. Uh, it's 4.3560 square feet inside here. So we do the math with a... Uh, the area of a circle is area equals pi, 3.14, times the radius squared. So we just do a simple back calculation. I take 4.3560 uh, feet in a hundredth of an, ten thousandth, I mean, of an acre. Divide it by pi, 3.14, and then take the square root of that number. And I come up with, I, I did this when I came up, and I, it was, I think it was one 0.17. You can do the math and double check on that. Radius, so the diameter across here uh, is going to be about 2.3, a little over 2.3 feet in diameter. So if I take this hoop, which is a ten thousandth of an acre, um, and I'm just going to flop it down at kind of random right here. Um, I could pick the exact center where I'm standing, but I've kind of trumpled it a little bit. Uh, so I make sure my, my 10,000 of an acre lays flat on the ground. And now I'm not looking at the whole forest. I'm just looking right here. So I count the number of Oregon grapes. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there is four. So inside that hoop, there were four Oregon grape. So on this one plot, that uh, that representative sample, four Oregon grape, a ten thousandth of an acre, that would mean there's 40,000 Oregon grape plants per acre. Now, of course, I'd want to have a system where I would go maybe around uh, the sundial. I kind of pick a, a point in the forest and I can go out maybe a few feet, put my hoop and uh, either go out to the, the nine, 12, three or six o'clock or the cardinal directions, we call them north. Uh, never eat east, south, soggy, waffles, west, uh, north, east, south, west. I uh, go to those four uh, cardinal directions and put this hoop down uh, and then count and come up with an average, a little, a little better way. To do a, a large acre plot, a lot of times we use uh, tape measures and uh, tape measures are great. Uh, they're, 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 they're not net terribly expensive. But um, they do have their, their challenges because they're spring-loaded and they get tangled and bent and kinked up. Uh, they can snap back at you. And they're also, you know, they, they aren't necessarily the cheapest things on the planet. But, uh, you know, sometimes just having a simple piece of rope with different knots tied in it. So a tenth of an acre circle, a lot, lot bigger than that ten thousandth of an acre, 37-foot um, radius. So this tape or this chunk of cord or tape measure in a way uh, is 37.2 feet long. Uh, and then you can tie a knot a little shorter in at a 20th of an acre and then tie another knot in at a 50th or a hundredth. So as your sample size uh, you know, becomes overwhelming, you can always uh, go out and uh, reduce the plot. Now you don't wanna do that once you start, you need to come up and say, okay, I have, I have uh, Oregon grape, 40,000 per acre. Yeah, maybe a 10,000th acre plot's just about perfect. You know, may, may, maybe a 1,000th acre plot. Uh, that's, that's getting pretty big, but maybe I don't do as many. Uh, coming out and doing trees. Obviously, uh, if the trees are pretty big, like the ones behind me, <laughs> that's way too small. Um, so more appropriately, a, a tenth of an acre. So depending on your population, depending on what you're measuring, how many are out here and how many do I expect to capture uh, in, in one representative sample might tell me how much uh, size I, I, I modify before I get going. I look forward to seeing you next time and uh, have a great day. Thanks.